Coaster Motor. My name is Tommy. Today is Friday, February 3rd, 2023. Today is my final day at Universal Orlando Resort. Uh, it was just raining pretty hard five minutes ago. Then it stopped and the sun came out, but it's kind of projected to be a little on again, off again until uh, for about the next hour and a half, two hours, give or take. We shall see. Uh, it's definitely going to be a shorter day because i got a flight to catch tonight. So I'm going to be doing some things I was not able to do yesterday on my Harry Potter land day that wasn't quite so Harry Potter as I would have liked it to be. So uh, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey will be one thing I will definitely do, but i got a few other things in mind. So let's see what I can get done. All right, let's go. As always, pass underneath the entrance sign. Love little theming they got in this area so much. Okay, first ride of the day is going to be Cat in the Hat. A nice, slow moving dark ride. Yeah, I really like this ride a lot. I mean, this uh, Seuss High in the Sky trolley ride and ET are the only true kind of slow moving dark rides Universal really has on property. I mean, ones that are based in practical effects and not 3D based effects, uh, which Disney has a plenty and I wish Universal would kind of pick up the pace and kind of match them a bit because I, I think you do need more rides like this, kind of break things up a little. I know Universal Hollywood opened up the Secret Life of Pets Dark Ride a year and a half ago, give or take. That was extremely well received. So Universal has worked on these very recently. So I'd like to see a similar concept brought over here, but who knows. The rain is certainly starting to come down again, so I'm going to ride the Forbidden Journey and try to stay as dry as I can. Regular left, express, on the right side. Got about a 35 minute wait, so I won't really mind it because it will keep me dry. This is the absolute longest I've ever seen the line personally, but like I said, what happens when there's rain on, people want to stay dry. 35 minute wait or so. Oh, no, no, no. 
specifically intended to ensure your safety. It should be perfectly preserved. I'm telling you, I tell all the young boys, you choose to Just a 15 minute wait. You can sort of tell it's a big time downpour out there, so everyone just kind of hiding out in the gift shop, waiting for it to pass a little bit. a drizzle right now but the rain might come back in a little bit yeah I definitely like this ride more and more with each ride I mean I seem to get less motion sick with each ride which is weird because I'm definitely older than I was 10 years ago can't explain that one I mean maybe they changed technology I've heard there's some things where if they don't quite align the motion up with the video portions that could cause motion sickness so perhaps they've updated that throughout time or they adjust it I'm not entirely certain but for a ride so heavily based on motion and video, I 
think it still does great. I mean, there's a quite a bit of physical sets still on the ride. I mean, honestly, I would probably say it's maybe 55, 60% physical sets on there. But there's still a lot of motion, so I don't know. Still a great ride either way. Well, I was hoping to get on Velocicoaster, but hey, pretty much all the outdoor rides are on weather delay at the moment, so not like I should be surprised. I guess I failed to refresh the universal wait time list, you know, on the app. So I got a little too optimistic and thought maybe they'd have this running by now, but they do not. I only have a couple of hours of time I could use inside the theme park, but I don't know what I can really do at this point because I'm not sure what I want to ride. There's not a ton of indoor options. I should say indoor options that I really want to ride. So I'll have to think this one through. For the meantime, folks, this little girl is off to a great start. She is, however, missing something very important. She's missing a name. Yeah, we gotta call this raptor something, right? Now, my friend, you have correctly identified her as a raptor. Do you think you can help us name this animal? Orange? What was that? Orange, we're going with orange. Orange and gladly is collar banana, folks. How about a round of applause for Orange, Jurassic Park's newest resident? They are cycling empty trains though. Does not appear that it's actually going to be allowable for guests to ride anytime soon though. And just like that, right after our walk away from Blasco, it is reopened from weather delay despite there being a very heavy mist in the air. One final ride. Your safety, please stay all three limbs and curves. The face of these magnificent creatures in a way that you might have to go back in time millions of years to experience. You know I just had to wait extra for the front row. My third front row ride on this visit. I believe my fourth front row ride on this ever. Though this time I was in the front left and every other ride I was in the front right. Though the biggest difference was the very heavy mist in the air that at times was pelting me in the face and the other times it was, uh, I don't know, a little relieving. I guess I'm a little hot right now. Here it comes. Lots of happy riders on there. Uh, definitely felt the airtime slightly stronger as a uh, wet track tends to improve the ride speed just a tad. If not, maybe it's all in my head. Either way, I enjoyed it slightly more, so a little bit different experience is always appreciated. Final ride of the trip. Good end with a cherry on top. I really like that monkey up there. It's cool. And the water fountain. Okay, this is it. Absolute final time exiting underneath the sign. Could be year, two years, three years, I don't really know. I'm just gonna go to City Walk, get some food, pick up my luggage at the resort, and then go straight to the airport. Now we're gonna get some food here at Red Oven Pizza Bakery. And here is the menu. And here is my pizza. It's the Ala Beno with prosciutto, pineapple, jalapeno, San Marzano tomatoes, and mozzarella. I also added sausage to it because I felt like it needed a bit more meat. I would have to say it's just kind of an okay pizza. Um, my criticism would be that it's a little too doughy. Let's see how kind of thick the dough is on here. You know, and uh, I would say it needs more sauce, it needs more something else. I'm very glad I added 
Italian sausage too because it really needed that. And I would say it needs something else too. Uh, it's a little bit dry for my taste. I don't like how the pineapples are so thin that they're kind of like crispy or something. There's still a decent amount of flavor from the pineapples, but not enough to my liking. So if you're gonna make it that doughy, you gotta add a little more sauce flavor to it or, you know, make it less doughy, I would say preferably. I also wanna say that the diced jalapenos add like basically nothing to this pizza because there's no texture, no flavor, no spice from them, which is really disappointing because I love jalapenos on pizza. I'd have to say things similar to the prosciutto as well. This pizza just needs more. Like the toppings are just kind of lacking, I would say. Yeah, unfortunately I can't say too many great things about this pizza place. I, I'm actually struggling to find a nice thing to say about it. It also took 40 minutes for the pizza to get there and it didn't seem like it would be a 40 minute wait when we ordered, but oh well, it happens. Time to gather my stuff and head to the airport and get out of Florida. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.